And right off the top of Fox 4 News at 5, a chaotic traffic mess. This is on 635 LBJ Freeway. Cars and trucks going the wrong way on the busiest freeway in Dallas. All of this apparently a whiplash reaction to just one accident. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. We're going to start things off here with Chip Wagner in the traffic center. Huge mess. This really was. It certainly was. And it was an overreaction, really, to what looked a lot worse than it truly was. Around 2 o'clock this afternoon, crash occurred involving an overturned vehicle. And the vehicles that were closest to it were high-profile right. vehicles, like a car carrier and a box truck. And they ended up spinning out and facing sideways, which in turn caused the rest of yeah. the story. In fact, take a look. This is video from Sky 4. from the ground there as well. Chip, as you said, about 2, 2.30 this afternoon, 6.35 in Skillman. And so it all started, what, when this car apparently kind of overturned somewhere between Forest and Skillman. So here's what police did. They blocked the eastbound lanes. And I tell you, unbelievable then what happened next. Yeah, so some of the people that were stuck in the backup, one, possibly two vehicles, decided in tandem, you know what, I'm going to go back to the Abrams on ramp. And I'm going to turn around and turning go the around. wrong way on the highway. It was not instigated apparently by any police officers at all and this should have just been a temporary closure for just a few minutes. But because one vehicle started to do it, several others started to follow suit and it caused what looked like a story that you would see at the dawn of time when cars right. really became popular and there were no signal lights. Everyone just go? mashed together and it took much longer to clear as a result. Well, so then you get an even more dangerous situation because you get one police officer trying to direct traffic and get everything under control. And, and it just, gosh. Right, and it took there, a long that time. Right there. Finally, the one officer was able to corral uh, and get all the vehicles starting to move back in the right direction again. And I don't know if we had the clip at the very end of it, but a car carrier that needs to get straightened out before everything can finally get straightened out and moving once again. And this officer, along with one other officer that was at the vehicle, uh, the squad car, was able to at least finally get out of the way. But there were several close calls where the officer could have gotten run over. Fortunately, Boy. did not.